Hey, what's up guys? Before the video starts, there's a little giveaway courtesy of Discord. If you visit blackandoil.discord.gg, go to the giveaway channel and type in the words, oh baby, you'll be entered to win a $10 RP card and there's two people that can win. And after that, maybe you wanna stay around, hang out with some people, visit other channels or stick around for my radio show that happens every Friday. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later. Patch Notes TLDR. League of Legends patch 6.3, up in this motherfucker. Did you ever want more champions to be like Zed? No! Well, your prayers have been answered. No! God, what the fuck? Thanks to this meta of tankiness, it's harder than ever to fuck the AD carry by mashing your head against your keyboard. And so Riot's introducing a new item called Duskblade, AKA Mini Zed Alt. All you need to do is bind Zed's laugh to your champion and no one will know the difference. <laughs> Are you tired of watching LCS and going to sleep? Do you hear the word Clown Fiesta used too many times? If so, we're here to let you know that getting Dragon is more important than ever. Rarely does the game even get the fifth Dragon, but in the interest of keeping things extra spicy, the fourth Dragon turns your team into super tower dive alpha force go i can guarantee you we're gonna see some bolder moves cotton let's see if it works out for him it should be a little easier to properly line up alistar's wq combo so you can bullshit tower dive with confidence nerfing his sustain in lane doesn't change up the fact that i still wish he was a juicy cheeseburger sometimes you see marksman in mid lane a lot of times they're corky and holy fuck the mixed damage that they have and the burst at the long range poke it's just oppressive like slavery all right not that oppressive we're gonna be able to loose those chains a bit thanks to some nerfs on q and all are. Echo's Q has been given an early game time adjustment, so his landing phase is a bit more manageable. Yay for time puns. Gragas, you're so bad that I can't say fuck this champion anymore. The TLDR vibe is perhaps too powerful. Since you've been bad for so long, upping the utility on your Q and W can maybe bring you back to being a decent jungler, just like in Season 4. What you say? So maybe giving Graves a functioning shotgun was a bad idea. It was a really fucking bad idea, but I guess he deserves this for taking his cigar away. Q secondary damage is taking a hit, and you can't cancel your basic attacks anymore with Q or your ult. I tried to make a video for Illinois, but she just feels pretty useless, like a dried up tentacle, especially when you miss your E, it's just so depressing. So missing it now won't feel so bad. Then you can follow your dreams of making your own hentai late game. Moving Kog'Maw's attack speed to W should make him closer to the damage dealing machine gun that we're all used to, because right now he just seems to be an exploding sack of shit that dies for free. Uh, do you hear that? It's that sweet lamppost music. The music takes a bit longer to reach the crescendo. Six beats to eight beats. This might make it easier to avoid getting bodied early game, but late game it's actually a buff and, uh, never mind. Just enjoy the music. Poppy goes in any position. Say that five times fast. And she just does so much damage and has so much utility for not building any damage. That's just like me going to Cheesecake Factory and finding out that it's closed when I get there. It's not fair. Rango can throw bolas faster, and if you're throwing them while you're in midair, they'll come out starting from behind him. That's a very awkward thought. Rise is just ridiculous. When his passive is fully stacked, I mean, your new name is Butter because he just melts the shit out of you. No more six seconds of relentless cues, you're only going to be able to use five spells. Zin's gonna be even more of a man with an AD ratio being added onto his third strike heal. Also, hello? Every third strike will do bonus crit damage? There are just so many places I want to spear. Please don't call the police. Remember that mini Zed item I talked about at the beginning of the video? You didn't think Zed would just get away scot-free, did you? <laughs> Girl, quit playing. I will not make a terrorist joke. I will not make a terrorist joke. I will, however, say the damage for landing Zig's mega inferno bomb has gone up. Just make sure you hit that juicy center for maximum effectiveness. If you're Varus, Vi, or Zerath, no more recalling to cancel your Kamehameha style charge moves. We're all about commitment here. I mean, Valentine's Day is coming up. Along with these skins, baby, Seeker's arm guard has more armor. Warden's mail is cheaper. Dead man's costs more and the slow has been decreased. Not enough players buy Sunfire Cape, so it does more damage to non-champs. Randuin's is cheaper and has more health. The little crystal that the Power Rangers use to transform their zords does more damage. Rapid Fire Cannon gives less move speed and does less damage. Static Shiv, more damage. Phantom Dancer, cheaper. Boots that everyone uses are going to be a little bit more expensive. Other boots that everyone uses are also more expensive. Move really fast boots will also cost more, but at least you move around faster. I think that covers it, ladies and gents. What are you looking forward to in this patch the most? Leave me a comment and don't forget to like the video. It's good for you. Sharing the video also makes you more attractive. This has been TLDR Patch Note 6.3. I'll see you next patch. Oh baby. Yes! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that like button. I'm gonna read some comments now. I masturbate regularly. Don't eat bees. Black Enola, you favor breasts or ass? 2D women or 3D? Pizza or burger? Coffee? Russia comments on Kazakhs in Mother Russia. Bug squashes you. Reddit is trash. Don't touch me there. Those are my no-no parts. Chocolate rain, motherfucker.